I'm going to show you a really cool way to put presentations into your live streams even when you only have a one monitor setup. Now, most live streaming software, including Ecamm, which I'm using right now, has screen sharing capabilities. However, those screen sharing capabilities can be limited by the software. I'm gonna show you how to work around to enhance your screen sharing capabilities. So let's dive right in. Aloha, if you're new around these parts, I am Doc Rock. I'm here to help you with your video production and live streaming. I teach these things twice a week during my live stream so you can come and join or come and join us in our lovely group, Let's Get Live, links in the descriptions. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Today, I'm gonna to show you the way we usually do it and then I'm gonna show you the way that we fix this up. So let's dive into the old school way, which can be a little bit problematic. I'm gonna jump into live demo mode in Ecamm. You'll see behind the scenes. I am recording this live, so never mind my friends being funny in the comments. Here we are in Ecamm's live demo mode, and this is a traditional way to share a screen. You basically have a button here in the center, looks like a computer, you press it, it basically shows your desktop, or you can tell it to pick a specific app like Safari, in which case you'll just see Safari, and this, myself, is known as a PIP, or picture in picture. If I check this little box here, it disappears. If I press it again, you come back. So what we used to do is try to figure out how to move this window around to get it in position to fit an overlay. An overlay is over here in this box. I would click this and you will see a nice graphic, in which case I would need to put my camera here, which is myself in a pip. And then I would have to wrestle the size of this Safari window in order to get it perfectly aligned so that it looks like it belongs inside this box. And this tend to be problematic because certain applications, especially those with menus and menu bars on the side or dialog boxes, they could tend to get a little crazy. The other problem with this situation is when you would quit an app and you restart it, it doesn't necessarily load back in the same window. If you were running say PowerPoint or Keynote or you know ProPresenter or some other app, they would tend to move things around. You always couldn't get the same spot and it could be a pain in the butt. The bigger pain in the butt, if, if you are a single monitor user, say you're working on a laptop or you have a single iMac with no additional display, it also became a problem because your streaming software, again, in this case, Ecamm, free trial link in the description, would be in the front and the app you're trying to adjust to find the perfect hole is in the back. So you would have to switch back and forth a lot. If you're good with the Mac shortcut keys, no problem. If you're not, you were fighting and you're wrestling and you're probably driving yourself crazy. I know because I see the comments in the Ecamm community on Facebook. I'm going to show you the better way. Let's dive into that. I can see you guys. I'm, I'm ignoring you. I'm not paying you any attention. In order to make this job easier, what you want to do is go over here to ndi.tv. Again, I'll put the links in the description. You're going to scroll down about halfway to the page and you're going to click on download. In download, you'll select NDI tools for your system. Of course, as Ecamm users, we're all Mac, so we would press the center icon and it will download NDI tools for the Mac. Once you download NDI tools for the Mac, you will see these icons pop up as the various packages you can install. The one that we're most concerned with is this one here in the center, NDI Scan Converter. You don't really have to install all the rest, but if you want, go ahead, not really a big deal. Now we have NDI installed. What you're gonna do is open the application and then the file menu of the application, select the window that you want to share with your streaming software. Again, in my case, Ecamm. Okay, so here in the file menu of NDI, I'm gonna select the window Safari. You can tell the size that you have here, and I have it roughly at 1912 by 1105. It technically should be 1920 by 1080, but because this works better, it's not that big a difference. Theoretically, you can select any application or any window of an application throughout your setup. So I can pick my Logitech mouse controls, or I can pick you know, a screenshot, whatever I wanna show. In this case, we're gonna to stick to Safari. Now back in Ecamm, I'm gonna open up a scene and I'm gonna show you how to rebuild that scene. Here we are in Ecamm in live demo mode, and this is my screen sharing scene. So the way I build this scene is very simple. I have this graphic overlay. This here is my background. 
this is now a camera and not a standard screen share. You know it's a camera because I can do simple things like change it to round, change it to square, can kind of pick whatever you want. What NDI does is it allows the application to be seen as if it were a camera. This too is not the old fashioned pip. It is myself set up as a camera. So I'm pulling in my cam link right now. This 80 would be my iPhone 8. If I were to open up my iPhone 12, I would also be able to bring in my phone. So you see NDI is very versatile. It can bring in myriad sources as a camera into your system. For instance, you could bring in another computer entirely. If that computer is running NDI, you can select that. So now what I have to do, let me make this smaller just so you can watch me rebuild it and I'll move this over here. I will turn on my PNG file with the holes in it. I will select my camera and place it in position. And then I will select my window I want you to see and place it in position. And Yola is simple as pie. You can do your layout. Your layout can be extremely versatile. I have layouts when I'm sharing with a guest. I'll have myself and a guest. You can put, you know, the window here. Say you want to show a counter. You want to show a clock. You want to see a moving ticker. Whatever it is that you want to see, you can place that there because this NDI source is a camera. So you can get very versatile with this whole setup. So once again, go to NDI.tv download NDI tools, install them, select the window that you wish to be shared as a camera and your streaming software shall pick it up. Another quick reminder, you can use your phone. The NDI HX Capture is the application for iOS. You can use an iPad, you can use another computer. If your network is big, say you're in a company environment network, a computer on the network on the absolute opposite side of the building could be brought in through NDI if your network was fast enough. And that my friends is the power of NDI tools. If you enjoyed this video, press the subscribe button, hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss whenever I create another video. Now watch the video that's coming up on screen next.